Well, hello, Rockhounds, Lavendary Lovers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. And what am I doing today? Well, today I'm kind of in the initial brainstorming design phase of what I'm calling my dream tumbler setup. Yeah, I'm working on a new high-capacity rock tumbler. I've been teasing that in videos for, I don't know, a few months now. And I think I'm finally getting around to uh, at least getting the design going. Um, and this is going to be much higher capacity than my current setup, because if you get seriously into rock tumbling, you never have enough rock tumbling capacity, especially if you go out rock hounding as much as I do and bring back literally tons of rock or have friends like Jim who gift you literally tons of rock. So, yeah. Okay, so what do I got going on here? Well, first, let's take a look at my current setup, and we'll talk about the shortcomings it has and how I'm going to address them with the new setup. So here's my uh, rock tumbling station as it currently stands. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with this. This is my first high-capacity rock tumbler build back here. I'm very happy with it. It'll hold uh, two six-pound drums and a 12-pound drum or four six-pound drums or two 12-pound drums or... Any combination of the above. So it works great. Drives them with no trouble. I've got a couple of smaller tumblers down here. You know, four and a half and three. And, you know, for most rock tumblers, I suppose this is enough capacity. For me, no. Got to go bigger. So what's the main problem, Hill? Well, the main problem is I have a lot of rock and I have a lot of tumbler drums. But I have no place to run them right now. I've got a lot more tumbler drums than I have tumbling capacity and a lot more rocks than I have tumbling capacity. This isn't even all my drums. I have others in storage. So I could run a lot more drums at once. Um, you know, I could have drums in every stage from rough grit to finish polish, you know. Uh, right now, things have to switch back and forth because I don't have enough drums. So, yeah, increasing my capacity, that is really what I want to do. So how am I going to do that with this setup over here? Well, let's take another look at it. This is, this is like I said, conceptual brainstorming, early design phase. But I think I've come up with something that's going to give me a lot more capacity without taking up a lot more space over here at my tumbler station. Let me show you my idea. So how is this contraption going to work where I can get a lot more tumbler drums on here without taking up a lot more space? Well, let me show you the idea I had. I'll zoom in on this little uh, diagram here I've drawn in my notebook. Being an engineer, I have an engineer's notebook to, to uh, record all my brainstorms, ideas, and, and whatnot. So I got the idea that if I had one central drive roller that was elevated and then idler rollers on either side that were lower down, I could get drums on either side of the one drive roller without them interfering with each other. And that way, with just three rods here, three rollers, I could get a lot of drums on here and they won't interfere with each other. So, you know, I could put, you know, a bunch of these six or 12 pound size drums on here, like so. I can't load it up too much because nothing's bolted down. And then I could put smaller ones over here if I wanted to. They don't interfere with each other. There's a nice gap between them where they don't interfere. Um, and I could even put probably, I think, the four-pound tumbler drums on here if I wanted to. And I could get a lot of capacity this way. I found that for some projects, especially softer rocks, it's better to do the uh, pre-polish and the finish polish in a small drum rather than try and do it in a big drum with a bunch of other rocks. So uh, I could put, I don't know, three or four of these three-pound tumblers on here as well as get easily two 12 pound tumblers and a six pounder on here or a whole bunch of six pounders or a few six pounders and a 12 pounder you know the possibilities are 
limitless, basically, with this. I mean, eventually I might run out of capacity again. But, hey, I've still got the two small tumblers, too. They can, they can work in concert with this. And I think I'll have plenty of tumbling capacity for a few years anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so this is, this, is, this is what I'm working on. You know, I'm trying to get an idea of just how much I have to elevate the central roller so that everything clears and the spacing between the rollers. Now, some of you may be saying, but Mike, but Mike, but Mike, the different size drums need to rotate at different speeds. And you're 100% you're right. They do need to rotate at different speeds. But here's the thing. It's surface feet per minute is what matters on your drums, okay? If you're driving them all with one roller at one speed, they're all going to have the exact same surface feet per minute, which is fine. That's fine. You want surface feet per minute to be uniform. The big ones are going to naturally run slower than the small ones just because the outer diameter is different. The small outer diameter, you're going to get more RPM. The larger outer diameter, you get smaller RPM. And the surface feet per minute will be exactly the same between them. And you can dial in your, your speed on your central roller to get the surface feet per minute you want. So this should work great. I'm thinking. I'm hoping. So, yeah, so I just need to get started building this. Now, um, here's what I'm using so far. Um, I'm using three-quarter inch diameter rods. I've got a couple of steel ones and an aluminum one here that I had laying around. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go... I mean, I might as well use what I already have, okay? Rather than buying something new. All I've had to buy so far is the bearings. I already had these rods. So um, I might as well go with them. Um, so the bearings are also three-quarter inch ID pillow block ball bearings with grease dirts on them. So that's what I'm using. Um, I'll put links to all this stuff in the video description if you want to do it too. So like I said, this is just sort of the brainstorming period right here. Now, if you live in an area, a country where getting three-quarter inch, you know, imperial size stuff is difficult, you can go with 20 millimeter. The difference is very minor. Just, you know, get 20 millimeter rods, 20 millimeter bearings, basically the same thing, only metric versus imperial. So it should work exactly the same way. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about motor options. It's going to need a pretty beefy motor because, you know, if I've got like two 12-pound barrels and a 6-pound uh, a barrel on here and, and three or four 3-pound barrels, that's a lot of weight of rocks. They're all full or, you know, three-quarters-ish full as they should be. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to need a pretty beefy motor. Uh, probably something kind of rugged because my, my tumbling setup lives outside. It is under cover, but it does live outside. So it's going to have to be pretty rugged, um, something commercial grade maybe, um, easy to find and, uh, you know, easy to replace when it does fail, but hopefully rugged enough that it won't fail for at least a few years and not horribly expensive to have to replace it or buy it initially for that matter. So I'm looking at motor options. I'm thinking I might want to build the whole tumbling platform up and mount the motor below it and drive the central shaft from a pulley from one side or the other. Um, that's probably the way it's going to go. Um, or I could shorten up this rod enough to mount the motor over here and drive the central shaft with a pulley. So there, there's, there's options here. There's all kinds of options here. Um, I haven't decided on the, on the actual motor yet. I'll be looking for that. Something easy for you folks to find too, you know. I will be looking for motor selection. And like I said, everything I'm going to use in this build will wind up down in the video description links to it. So you can build your own if you want to too. Uh, so let's see here. I think I've got this elevated enough with an inch and a half block. Although my 
my uh, my drawing here called for two inches of elevation and uh, a little bit more elevation on these two. I may experiment with this a little bit and come up with a final design. And in a future video, once this thing actually starts coming together and I've finalized everything like the motor and the, 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 the pulley or gear ratio that we need to get the speed we want, and the actual height that I want the different rods elevated off the deck and where I want to mount the motor, um, I'll have some more complete plans that I will put out there so you guys can build your own if you like. But I think this is going to be cool. I think this is going to work great. And I think it's going to allow me to tumble a lot more stuff in the same amount of space that I'm tumbling not so much stuff now. I have seen people build high capacity tumblers that run linearly for you know 10, 15 feet so they can put a whole bunch of, of uh, tumbler drums on it. And, and you know that works too. That's an idea, but I don't have the space for that. So I'm thinking with this, I can double everything up, double the productivity and not have to take up a whole lot of space. I just don't have the room for those extremely long tumbler builds. Mine's got to be a little more compact, and I think this is going to work. So subscribe to my channel here to see future videos in this Tumblr building series. Um, I think you'll find it interesting, and if you're at all interested in building your own high-capacity Tumblr, follow along. Feel free to you know make suggestions for me down in the comments if you have any experience in this area, or if... Uh, there's some feature you would like to see that I'm not including in this. Um, or if you think I'm making some kind of mistake somewhere along the way, hey, let me know in the comments. But yeah, follow along, subscribe, and I think in future videos you'll, we'll see this come together, get it up and running, and I'll really increase my rock tumbling capacity. But I, I'm pretty happy with the way this build is going so far, this design anyway. If you guys are happy, give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.